Republicans and Democrats can actually agree on. We're talking about the tax on medical devices, the business that has already been hit hard in the past year by hospitals clamping down on costs. It's on my agenda this morning as we look at the different industries and businesses that are impacted by today. Bill George joining us, uh, professor of management practices at Harvard University. Before that, he was the chairman and CEO of Medtronic, one of the world's biggest medical device makers. So, Bill, how did medical device companies get caught in the crosshairs, and is it something eventually that you think can be remedied? Well, I hope it can be remedied. This this came about at the very end of the uh, affordable health care negotiations, and they needed extra money to score with the CBO. They tried to throw a 4% tax on. They wound up at 23 and it produced $30 billion a year, theoretically. Uh, that's because the medical device industry didn't go in and negotiate uh, for uh, some non-competitive deals like not having a public exchange or not having the government negotiate prices of drugs. And so in some ways it was a punitive tax. It was a tax on revenue, not on earnings. So little companies or mid-sized companies aren't earning any money get hit just as much. Well, it, seems and, like, uh, it seems, George, like it's sort of, sort of one of those random pieces in this legislation, but actually it could be the ticket to getting some sort of agreement because we've heard by partisan support for getting rid of this tax. Is that something you foresee? You make a great point. You know, there's 77 senators led by two Democratic senators, uh, Senator Klobuchar and Senator Franken, who have uh, agreed, or now I understand, are going to sign up to repeal this tax, and 260 members of the House of Representatives. So you have big majorities well beyond cloture. And think, if I think the Obama administration were wise, it would come in and see this as a way to maybe get some agreement. I, I just don't think we can have this standoff. It's ridiculous uh, that our government can't function. But somebody's got to give. I mean, everyone's getting hurt. The government workers, economy's going to get hurt. Medical device industry's already laid off 10,000 people because it's cutting back innovation. And so, yes, I think this is a way that could kind of unlock the key and make it kind of like we're trying to do with Iran and another sector, do something where we can get to agreement, and which Congress can't do, and maybe that can open the door and pave the way to get move the government forward and particularly solve the debt ceiling problem. Which well, is that a would be a miracle, Bill George. We've got David Stockman here, the former Office of Management and Budget Director under President yeah. Ronald Reagan. Look, the medical device crybabies are such ingrates that I can't <laughs> believe it. They are, they are booking billions a year because Medicare and Medicaid pays for most of these dev devices. This is $30 billion over 10 years. It's $3 billion a year. It's rounding chump change. And if we're going to have this monster called uh, Obamacare, then you've got to pay for it. And so the idea that they're now going to come in and, and try to get the revenue removed and yet keep selling the devices to all the people that are going to be covered is the kind of hypocrisy that tells you why we're going down the tubes fiscally. Is there a little... Country. Is there an item here that the medical device business is based out of Michigan, Indiana, Ohio? Does yeah. that have a little bit of a Sure. Uh, of course, there are, uh, you know, this is the way it works. This is how crony capitalism works. This is how PAC driven uh, politics works. This is silly that they're trying to repeal this, and yet it's, you know, going to well, happen over and over. Bill George, you can defend yourself as a medical device crybaby here. Is, bottom line, <laughs> Is the medical innovation and device innovation in this country at risk, as well as American jobs in these companies? Right. Normally, David, I agree with you. I totally disagree in this case. Uh, we just don't run around taxing industries to try to generate more government and put down individual industry taxes. This makes no sense. Normally, as a government, I thought you were in favor of general taxes uh, and trying to keep them down. And just to t plop a little tax here and a little tax there, it's definitely going to hurt the industry. It's a tax on innovation. It's going to take it right on innovation. And look what it's done for people. And yes, of course, a lot of these people you're talking about all of a sudden will be covered, Frank. They've been coming well, to emergency rooms, and they get their pacemakers, they get their defibrillators, they get their heart surgery. Right. So it's not like they haven't gotten anything before. This okay. idea that there's going to be some boon is is a myth, and you don't see anyone else in the industry right. that believes that. Bill George, don't go anywhere. We've got David Stockman, Bill George uh, with us here. My agenda for this morning is maybe the future of the Republican Party as a government is officially uh, shut down. The Senate begins at 930 this morning. David Stockman, your Republican Party, will you go the way of the Whigs of the early 19th century? <laughs>
country? Well, I, the Republican Party is lost. Uh, the Republican Party is not credible fiscally. The Republican Party has been unwilling to take on Social Security and reform it and means test it. It's been unwilling to take on the Pentagon, which is massively bloated and clearly not needed in the year 2013, when no one wants us to be the policemen of the world any longer. And after right. all okay. of that hypocrisy, they do not have credibility. Right. And uh, you know, we'll see. Well, Bill George, still with us from Harvard, you know, you represent the business side of this debate, the business community. You've been on a number of boards and an executive at a number of companies. What is your thought this morning as we enter a government shutdown and barrel tour a potential U.S. government default? Well, thank goodness the business community is moving ahead. Look at the automobile industry. Look what's happening in the IT industry and the energy industry and the healthcare industry. Thank goodness we have innovators like Medtronic and many other companies moving ahead. And because that's what's keeping our economy going and they're producing good jobs. And so, uh, I, well, it's terrible that the uh, government shut down, but you know, I think we have to have our industry keep going ahead, and we can't just keep taking shots at industries that's growing. That's where the real jobs come from, and that's what's producing the wealth that can pay the taxes. So I think we need to continue to support industry, and I hate to see this dysfunctional government. I agree with uh, David about the Republicans. The Democrats are equally bad. No one wants to talk. No one wants to sit down and have a reasonable session like uh, we used to do in previous administrations. So uh, uh, woe is on all of our our houses. <laughs> All right, we'll end it there on the agreement and the Kumbaya moment here with Bill George. Who knew that medical devices could be so contentious? <laughs> Bill George of Harvard uh, and with us, of course, David Stockman.